Hey guys, so this is uh, part 3 of Life 2D tutorial. Last time, I remember I haven't taught you about uh, how to do the hair movement. Well, uh, but today we're not here to do the hair movement first. Because I think uh, not all of you guys really need that. Because I, I don't use that often. Unless you're like walking and moving. So, as for today, we'll learn about the glue tool, which is a kind of useful, I mean, really useful tool for us to use, and kind of a bit complicated when it first started. Okay, so, as you always want, that, like, sometimes the rotation is not in place, not right in place, right? Like, sometimes it'll be, a, like, a little out of position, like these, and, well, today, the glue tool will save your life for that. So, let's just, um... Okay, let me just do this because I've done this arm for the glue tool and I'm going to try this one, okay? So, for example, I would like to uh, combine these these two like using the glue tool. That would be better for rotation. So, let me see how it is right now. So, it's a bit out of position for now. So, if we use the glue tool, that would be much better, okay? So, let's, uh, let's select both of them, press the shift button, and then go to the art meshes uh, here. So, first of all, just delete all the oops how oh man delete all the art meshes like drag it and then press back to basic up here and they're deleted and then you're using this tool so this one is this tool is where you are adding a uh, stroke new art meshes so like the two sides of those art meshes will be parallel and it would be better for you using this so yes you see like this so press drag here like you have to select the whole object here so uh, let me add one more here. Okay, how to extend them right over here? So, uh, well, you see there's a mesh width, so you go, uh, like increase the number. So, for example, on 30, and press enter, and it will be for like it will be larger right now. Okay, and then select all the places that you want. Okay, uh, well, for this one, it's like this. Like, after that, you press confirm, and then these are meshes are here, okay? Okay, and then after that, uh, you just press on the white space, whatever it is. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Just one, like this, and then double click, left, double click, and then select, uh, like, select whatever it is, just select one of them first, and then you're gonna erase some of the extra parts here. Okay, so, so, like, this one is better for saving up your space, like this one as well, okay. Okay, so, you just gotta add up a bit more. Uh, okay, so after that, you're done. Wait, I think I forgot something. Ah, oh, man. Uh, like... And then you have to like select both of these. Wait, uh, select both of these. Press Control A, and there you are. Oh man, why did I always press the wrong button? Okay, so uh, and then uh, select select both of them, and Control A, and then press Blind, and there it will. Okay, so as you see, uh, wait, not this one. It'll be kind of weird like this. You see. Uh, so you have to like make a little change after all. So here, press the yellow thing, like yellow label thing right here. And uh, so you see that this arm, like there are two objects. The one is red, one is green. So like you have to uh, make them. Wait, let me show you. I don't know. I don't really know how to explain. Like, like you have to make them red. Like just drag everything. Here. so it will be red like this uh, I'm not gonna explain it okay <laughs> okay right so so uh, you can press shift to be the, to make your position like you can move a little bit like whatever you want like that okay so for this one you see uh, it's still kind of weird so as if you want to change it to green you can press shift like hold it and then you just draw it like this and then it will be like green okay but if you want to be red just draw it like this okay so uh i haven't done it yet because uh i still have my hand to come behind here and i'll have to change it so let me press escape here 
Okay, so I have to combine all of my hand. So you have to uh, select them again. Uh, wait, where's my arm here? Okay. Okay, so uh, here you're gonna select the, you're gonna combine these as well. Same method, just delete all of these. Uh, and then just put these right here. Oops. Okay, and I hope I'm not going to pass like these. Uh, and after that, just uh, like same, just do like this and the other one as well. Like, don't erase the parts that should be glued. Like, example, for example, you want to glue this part, so don't erase this part, okay? And then just, uh, like, select so both of them and control A, like this, and then press Y. And they stick together, okay? Okay, and here we go. Here's how you can glue them much better. Okay? Like, this one's as well, okay. Okay, let me, uh... Okay, let me just I'll make them red. So this is how you can combine it very well. Like there are less spaces like get away. Well hmm, since you guys have done the hair movement, what about let's do it together then? Because I don't want to separate too much videos. I wanna finish them all together as I haven't finished this one. Okay. And after that you can press escape too. Okay, so, uh, let me save this. Okay, for this one, I just... Uh, I want to delete this one, can I? I don't want to use this one, okay. Wait, uh... Okay, so, uh... Like... Okay. So... We have to have the hair separated in parts. So, uh, I haven't done the the rain hair about that okay so I'll, I'll just do it later so let's just do the front hair with that movement first so uh let's start with how to move it like uh how do I set the position like here so uh just use the rotation deformer so I assume that you will know that because I told you enough in the last uh, tutorial so uh and the hair must be separated and parts like you don't have the screenshot for millions of time for that because I haven't I didn't do that too. Actually, it's pretty simple. Just uh, uh, you know, just have your hair here, and then you go to art mesh and delete all the like delete the other art meshes that you don't want aside here. So and then do it for multiple times, and you'll be done. And then you should add the deformer path, like at four at least. That is the best one. And we will only uh, move the ones the last two ones here. So, as you see, I've made a little bit of it. Okay, wait. I should not give this one like this. Okay. So, as you see, it's just gonna come like this. So, I've moved these already. Like, you have to move the last part. For example, when the wind is coming from this way, you go this way. So, the hair will go this way, right? So, you'll be like this. So, we're gonna use the glue tool again. It's, uh, it's better for, like, not positioning it. Uh, okay, so let's just glue the hair. Like, let's just glue two of them together. Uh, if you want to glue many of them, like, you want to glue this and all of them together, you should, like, glue this one and this one together first, and then glue this one and this one together, and this one and this one like that, okay? So, uh, I'm gonna show you the steps again, in case you guys don't remember. Um, uh, let's delete the key, like, the art lashes first. And then at these, oops. Oh man, or why are you doing this? Wait, just stay here, okay? Okay. So, uh, increase the width again. Oops, too much. Okay. Like this, and this tool will come in handy when you're animating hair or hands, or maybe legs. Mm -hmm. So you're like this. Like you've done this, and go back here, and like select one of them. Uh, oh, maybe. Oh yeah, maybe the place is actually okay. Really okay. So uh, mm -hmm. 
and press Control A. Control A, yeah. Uh, press blind. Don't press. Don't forget to press blind, or, or you can't do it. Okay. Oh man, I forgot to. Wait, I'm just gonna change a little bit. Wait, I can. I can do this one too. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh man. Okay. And um, you'll be like moving this like this. So, uh, it's like make it legal again. Wait. I think I'll be like, oops. Oh man. You should. You can set the weight of the moving area. So it will like. Like if you set it too big, it will be like like this, so it will not be that great. So I, and I think I'm gonna set it like maybe two percent or like just a lower number. So you see, the, it will not be that strong. So wait a minute. Oh man, I don't want this. Wait, I just need to. Uh, Oh my god, it's hard to fix this like that. Okay, so when you're... I mean, listen to what I said, dummy! Okay, after that, just press escape and you're done. Okay. You're totally done. Wait, uh, man, can I just... Wait, it'll move like this. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't want to say it again. Like, it's really bad for now. I'm gonna do it over again. Dumb. Okay. Uh, I want to set it out. Okay, let's just reverse everything. I want to set it out. Okay. Let's just. Okay. Let's just reverse everything. Okay, but uh, guys, if you want to set it, it's okay. What for me? No, I don't want to set. Oh, come on. Can you just? Can this be decent? Okay. Let's just. Let's just. So let's continue with that hair movement here. Okay. So here okay, you have to set the keyframes. Like this. So like you have to move like this. And it will be better for you. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna fix a little. Uh, I'm just thinking the keyframes. I'm just thinking the glow tool is gonna spend like so much time, so, so I'm using this one instead. Okay, so you see it's moving, and okay, Just gonna okay like this. So uh, it's moving like this. You see. Uh, so I have to make this this one as well. Okay. Okay. So this is like this. So I think I hope you don't think it's so bad. So I think I should set it to for division as for better will. For like it would be smoother. Okay, but I think I already did, didn't I? Okay. So I swallow this one. Just uh, drag it like here. Okay. 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 I'm out of my skills are really bad. Okay, I get it. I'll never be like really good at this. Okay. So like. The other one here as well. So, uh, I set the keyframes again. Let me just move these. Okay. Okay, and, oopsie. I'm gonna need this. Anyway. Okay. So, uh, wait, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of left. 
to all them. Just let me move these things down. Okay, wait. I'm gonna have to be like this. Okay, wait. Oh my! How did it turn to this? Come on, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even... Wait. Okay, wait. Oopsie. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's try again. Okay, so I think this one is moving a bit too, like... Like, maybe I should get that up a little bit? Wait, I think he's... Oh, man. Uh... So I'm just testing... Oh man, come on, give me... Can I just do it better then? Okay. I think this one's good. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. You can do it, Skyla. You can do it! This? Okay. Frames. I remember you just said it, didn't I? Man, did I? I don't know. Come on, Skylar, you can do it. Okay. Oh, this is really tiring. Uh, that's why I don't like really smooth animations. Okay. But let's move a little bit down here. Oh man, this, this is looking pretty weird already. Wait, what is he? Okay. Like, here? I suppose it's better. <laughs> no, it's not better. I'm, I'm bad at this. Come on. Come on, this. <sighs> at least I can do something. Okay. On my white one. Okay, so, uh, the last one here. Okay, let me see how to do. Uh. Okay, you can do it. Come on, Skylar. Come on. Okay, wait. Okay. Let's just move these, um... Oh man, come on! Seriously, right now. Just a stupid way to animate. But you guys can use the glue too instead. But I just don't like it. Okay. 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 I get it. It's. Oh man, what did I do? Did I just. What the. I should have just do this. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Wait, this. Wait, the space between them should be more. So I guess I should like do this. Oh man. Come on. Okay, wait. I guess I should get this get these up back there. Don't worry, I just like this. Yeah, I don't want to see it. <laughs> okay, okay. Just like this. Come on, just please. Please just let it be like this. Okay. Okay. I think uh, this is how this one works. The hair movement is, will be like this. So as you animate, it's gonna be. So, oh yeah, I haven't told you how to use the item. Like, I haven't told you how to. Yeah, I haven't told you how to use the animation tab. I almost forgot about this. Okay, so let's um let's start with a running post then let's okay. But let me just fix this first. Okay, so just this. Ew. Okay. Wait, oh yeah, eyebrows. That's the thing.
gonna have him tell you, right? Okay, I can talk to you, okay. I got her eyebrows, just separate two eyebrows, and okay. Okay, so for the eyebrows, I've already finished those, like, these are all the eyebrows. So I think there was only the normal one, and the, um, whatever it is, this <laughs> is that boring one, I guess. And the worried one, and the angry one. So, pretty simple. Let me just do it all over again for you, okay? Let's delete these, and we're gonna do it all over again. So, uh, so use a different pastel, and we're gonna fix like this, okay? And then, just add keyframes. So, to this time, we're gonna add four keyframes. First of all, up this button here, add keyframes. And then, the red dots are the keyframes you have. So, by pressing this, just by pressing the red dots, they disappear. So, select, uh, like select the other places that you want like this so if you want the extra one like four or five those you can press the, uh, the button over here and just enter the value that you want okay but for now we only have we only have to make like four keyframes okay so first thing normal second you'll be like this so the eyebrow kind you see and we'll continue this Like create eyebrows, and same as the angry one, you'll be like, uh, like this, and and you're done. Okay, wait, and let me reset everything back to normal now. Okay, and that's how you do the eyebrows. Easy enough, right? Okay. Okay. And uh, for the eyebrows, I forgot to tell you one thing that you can do for some over effects. Well, you can set, uh, wrap the, wrap the former, <laughs> yeah, wrap the former for the eyebrows. So when, I mean for the, yeah, for the eyebrows, when you move here, you, you have to like, like it might be too, too not in the right position, so you can just adjust it like this. So, and for the eyelashes, I also suggest to add, wrap the former for each of the uh, eyes. So when you move up there, so you see the eyelashes move to the to the position where eyeball is. So this is how I just adjust it. Like you move these like this. So it'll be like this. Okay. Like uh, same as the lower eyelashes. Okay. So uh, ooh, I forgot to tell you about the hands. Okay, sure thing. But uh, I have to use Arabella's. Yes, dude, because because I only I have only have done her hands for now, okay? So let me let me just save this first. Okay. Let's go to Arabella this one. Uh wait, just gonna just go. So you see there are the hands he has. And uh Okay. Oh yeah, head rotation. Did I set this one? Oh, I didn't set head rotation here. Let me just add the head rotation first. Okay. Oh man, I forgot to select. You have to select every part of your head. Yeah. Really annoying. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, that's hair rotation. Sorry. So I have to set hair rotation and this and uh. annoying when you do this. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just like, I'm gonna just like this. 
so to speak. Oh yeah, and I forgot that you can, I forgot to tell you that you can, uh, you can add, uh, parameters to the domain. You can, you can add these folders so that you can, like, know which ones are better. Uh, so, uh, there's some maximum of 48 parameters if you're using the first free version. I'm now trying the trial, trial period, so I can just add more. First, the most annoying part are the hands. Yeah, okay. You have to take every every single hand that you have to use. So I take every single string out of them. So it's gonna be like this. So uh, wait. So to use the hands of the computer, you gotta use step notes and I just type out and you tap each string and put them in the right position and then you can just put them in the right position like this. So uh, I don't know if I should really just step all of my hands because it's a really annoying step. But maybe I should like do this. So uh. One is the uh, is the negative n. One is the original one, like before the, the original number, like before negative nine. So what is before neg negative nine? And that is negative negative zero point nine one. And for each of them, the set the set to the zero, or else they disappear like in some way. So I'm gonna tell you how to animate. Also, you can set this so to make into a little bit. But, uh, this is like a uh, uh, how to make animation. Okay, so I just set the set set the uh, set over to be. So I'll just call it bot body because body. Okay. So uh, let's add a parameter first. Oh, let's put here it's better. And uh, uh, in order to move the head together with this rotation, you will have to select the head rotation and select the body rotation, and they will be linked together. So let me just let me do it for you. Okay, so they're linked together. So and then set the keyframes. Okay, like this. Okay, like this. And. No, no, no. Oh, wait. Oh, man, I can't remember what the second is it. Okay, so I have to select the bell string. Okay. Okay, like this. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that's why. Oh, I'm stupid. That's why I keep doing it like this. Oh. I'm stupid. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't believe I have to select the bell. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. 
this way, we're going to be doing So, these are, uh, things. Okay. Put it away. Is it like this? So I think, uh, so I think that's just done. Like, um, it can only do 360 degrees of camera view, and it's kind of, I mean, not kind of, it's really annoying. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it in this video. Maybe when I master it, I can show you guys. <laughs> I don't get to show you guys. I think I haven't done any of, any of the, I got 30 degrees, because I think I have to not look at this one. So I don't really get what to this is, like, so let's get on to the animation channel so you guys really learned the last thing that's still in the video. So you guys in the comments if you do. So let's open our animation tab. So I have adjusted the position too so you see it very well. So first thing you have to do is all of the camera go. <laughs> it be harder that you want to animate. When it goes here, like, like this, and then it would change. It would change it. So, yes, it's going to change now. It changes like this. It changes like this. So, ah, uh, let me adjust this first. Okay. Oh, oh man. So, I'm gonna, I don't know what to do because I have to spoil one teaser in this video. I, I'm, I'm here for animating. Like, I'm, I'm working. Like, I, I, I do the, I, I want to do the tutorial as well as animating his dad together <laughs> like this. Okay. So let me do it. Oh you guys might be wondering how to increase our volume. So let me show you. So uh there are um there's some files here and you have to convert them into wave files first. So uh if you want to convert it I'll I'll just put the link down below and then you can convert it yourself. So, uh, mm, yeah. let's see, I have 
話しかしないから、ね、そうあ,あるとこやめてほしい爆弾の部屋あれ一回行ったら早起きしてなかったらいいって言われたら早起きしてなかったらなんちゃうめちゃくちゃ悪くなっちゃうことになるからね。Let me show you. So, wait, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You will see the link that I sent you down below. It's right here and you'll open the file that you want. So, you will see the file that you want and then click right here. As my copy, I'll just click this right here. And then press all. And I do that, just that one. After that, just follow the example. Okay, I don't want to spoil anything, but there is the audio that I have to do for the for the my time update. Yep. So, um, So, uh, well, you see the audio here? So, if you want to go for the mouth cave first, then you go to the part that I asked you to go. So, here you can adjust the rim. Okay, so you can. But if you. The dark parts are the parts that you cannot work to. So, if you want it to extend to the part that you want, go for the button up here and then go there. And you'll be here. So as soon as the model, you have to uh, clap to here, or the model will disappear. Okay, and let's do the if step first. Well, uh, let's adjust the variance. So you see there's many spaces, and you can adjust this. Yep. So press the same here, and go to the inspector palette. Here the uh, the size of it. So you don't you don't want you don't want to uh, have the tiny size that you don't want it to be this. Uh, what I mean is if it is fixed, it will be like it will be this uh, uh, rectangle. So uh, you don't want this rectangle. You don't want this model of like like you it will if you just choose this to have very fixed, it will be kind of a horizontal uh, rectangle. You want only a model of this, right? So you have more space to work. So let's deselect the the fixed and then just do the number over here. So I think maybe six number, and then put the model in this place. And then you're done. So here's how you're gonna adjust the space. Yep. So um, let's start with the moon then. So you want like hear the sound like you say moon and then your mouth will be go like a uh, little bit circle like that. So for example, this one is guys. So you 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 have to observe the like your mouth shape and then you like want to like this. So it will be obvious if you have this mouth, right? But uh, oh yeah. So uh, so after you can move to any point. Of, of this here, so you can do any mouth on your uh, the animation you want. So you see, it moves. So press Shift, select multiple uh, keyframes, so you can move it freely like this. to leave keyframes like this. And copy keyframes. Hard paste and paste. Just hard paste. So uh let me try to have a Also 
add some movement. Like here. Move your arm like this. Oh, you don't have an address stick. Well, wait, did I miss? Did I make this? Oh, I haven't made it better. Make it better. like this. So, uh, you can move like this. Mm -hmm. Then, mm, so you see it moves like this. That's how we do animation in the, in the whole thing. the hand can, can you do much be free now you are so confused because you will have to can you just like like uh like uh wait how do I just wait uh I'll just Fourteen seconds. Let's start up. Let's try this. So you want to move, like when you go to your head, right? Your head. You should be changing to this one, right? But there might be a mistake sometimes. You see? You see, the head is gone with this right here, right? So you have to. You have to get this, you have to get a hand that right here that can, will not be gone. So it will not be gone. So I'll show you again. So same as here, you have to get another hand. So it will, you see it changes right here at this point. So the hand will not be gone. So, uh, let's do this. Mm. I'll just move it later in here. You see, the hand is gone again. Here. Okay, the hand is gone again. Look at this. So, so you have to. This place has a mistake. Seriously. Okay, we 
this. Like this. So I usually do the the uh, blinking eye at the end. <laughs> I do the end of the tutorial, so let's just do it like that, okay? Uh, but you have to go to the each one you want. Let's go right like this. Uh, right place like this. You have to fix your eyes like that, right? Okay, so I'll just... Okay, I think this... I think this one is too uh, slow. So I'll just put it here. Why is it like this? Okay, wait. So I think that is all you have to do for now. But if you want the camera to be moving like move like this to the other side, then just move it that. But I think I'm going to tell you how to move the walking or running some position like them. It's uh, I actually don't work them. I just edit in my software, which I use to uh, combine everything together. So I actually don't make it. But if you want to make it, then I'll show you. It's just it's just here placement and transparency. Wait, you might not think. Then it's moving. It's moving. You see, it's moving. But anyway, so just stay in this position. So and as the eyes are out. Are still like normally like this piece keeps moving. So I'll teach you more about live TV, but these are the basic things that you need to know about live TV. If you want to go to more advanced, then I'll just show you how to do like this and live TV moving in the corner and uh, like maybe how.
how to make your eyebrow eye highlights like like bouncing. How to fix that? Maybe it's called bouncing, I guess. Okay, so uh, well, I have my sewing machine right here. I can I make some sewing today? I should probably make some. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna make um, I'm just gonna make some sewing today. Okay, I'm just gonna make a sewing machine. Okay, okay, that's well. We're gonna continue on with the how to make your amazing eye makeup. Okay, okay, okay. I can also help you okay, to uh, move your sleeves up and down and maybe your shirt like you know sometimes you just like this like yeah just like that okay um and also how to do some skirt rolling up okay that would look that would look that would look annoying too okay and also maybe I can mm, if I have enough more I can maybe actually no okay let's not do how to do the shirt first I think we want to if you want to see uh, at the beginning, uh, I just I just do like some crochet things really hard, and it's not gonna expect to. It's not gonna really expect. I didn't expect how hard to use salt lamp or like this like knife to be. I, I didn't expect that I would spend so much time doing on on the video, and and I thought that I can just do normal eye making. But if you just do normal eye making, it's be really weird and. I decided to learn it hard to use the knife to be. I, I thought it was really hard at the beginning because because it's very confusing. I have to just learn everything when you like learn everything everything at once. But you know it's really good if you if you just you know if you just try harder. Like like I, I'm not good at animating out of like I'm not good at animating actually. I have to increase and improve that just my tools and as small, like I, I make the the hand movements as so I just need to see how to do something like this. And I think it's good for small things like that. I think I have to keep learning and learn and learning. So it will be uh I know it this journey is going to be very hard but I'm gonna keep learning and learning and do the best I can to make it. Just even though it may be you think the hard for you to learn at the beginning, trust me, it's gonna be really hard to do anything at the beginning as you look. You need to just just to look back is tougher. Okay? That's true. That's true. And I think I think how to make at the beginning of learning what I do, I just think, oh my god, I mean if you just do something like this, like how can I do like some cartoon character? I would think I should probably start with that. And it's gonna be so weird if I just if I just do it daily and like no actually I'm I'm spending most of the time and I'm just trying to, like, I created the series because of my precious music group. It's just a really, really amazing series, and it, it like, inspired everyone to do their creation. And I just, like, I always like to write stories. I, I really like doing them in my free time. I always write some stories, like, stuff, even before I, before I know that's club, I still make some writings, comp composition, and those, and the music group is one of the reasons why I can think of an idea of the composition, one of the compositions I did. I turned out this, I, after this composition, I think I got a really great score as I got first in class, and I think it's really amazing. Just making those music channel, like, in my phone, so I have to try to maybe give you guys some good, like, a gift, or maybe a fun thing, just to keep trying it, trying to animate and try to create more things, and so I hope you guys are looking forward to the mid Midnight Rockers. I think the series won't be that popular, I am sure, because I'm just a little small YouTuber who doesn't know much things about music, even though I have, yes, I have learned about violin before that, and I do not know anything about music. <laughs> well, I am, like, I mean, I am, I'm just stupid, person, and, yeah, and I think anything can help you if you just do it anyways. I'm just so stupid. I did see this, the Midnight Rockers just for popularity. It's just for fun, I think. So I, I decided to create it. Well, a mini movie, like a series. Okay, for you guys here, I want to tell you one secret. So only only you guys who listen to this, even in this video, will know what I'm doing, okay? Do not tell anyone, okay? Only you guys who listen to this know. I am actually part of the other series that you create already. Hence, I'm a mini movie. I have done creating the 
the other factor comes in under A, and even more characters from the main movie. Do not tell anyone, or else you may lose them. <laughs> yes, I have the other characters from the movie already, so I, I have already finished the plot, if yeah, the plot is in my mind, yes. <laughs> but I have to finish the main actor first, and I swear it's gonna, it's gonna take more than three years for me at the end of the day, I only, I can only make one animation in one day. And I was like, what the heck, how can, how can those director's and animators do that? I think it was so fun. I made the whole English dub so that I could do it for you guys. Okay, and I hope you guys can respect for the British accent. Because I am, I am quite busy with that. Because I feel like I hate it. So why, oh, sometimes I want to end on my professional life. You know, I can't just, like, stare at these things all the first day. I need to finish the things really long with you. And that, and that's some kind of, some kind of alien species. <laughs> so, uh, I hope I can finish it this end of the year, but most likely I won't. <laughs> most likely I won't, I won't, I won't do it. I can't do it. Because the thing, I'm gonna, I have to like, I have to like, uh, at least I have to finish my first episode first. It's just too much for me. I think I'll handle anything with just one animator. But if you guys are truly very, very well talented animators, I would bet you to get In the future, when I get home, <laughs> well, because I, I have to do this, but do you think, like, remind me, I'll be really grateful for that. I will be. Right now, we need 1,000 subscribers. I'm gonna have math machine, and I'm gonna post more, like, more things for Kindle Dub, so you guys can see me doing the math machines, okay? So, uh, yep, I've talked quite a lot. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and just, I hope you guys will do some cooking for me. I, I'm actually waiting for Alice and Gus's thing that I'm gonna make you guys watch. And I've watched them already. They're really good. I haven't I never thought that there would be something like this. So everyone can do animation but I'm not this is really incredible. Okay, so uh Oh, I will have to go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and like see you next time. Next video when it's out. Okay, goodbye.